All right, guys, so as you can see, I have a ton of stuff here. I have three full bags full of inventory that I sourced today. Um, I just got back maybe 15 minutes ago. Um, so let's roll that intro and get right into this week's episode of my Friday Thrift Finds series. Hey guys, it's me, Kay, and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do also sell on Depop, and I have a little gremlin over here. If at some point he jumps on the couch, I will show him to you, um, but he's probably gonna be a little bit noisy in this video. We have an eight and a half week old kitten, um, and so he's full of energy, and right now he's flicking something across the floor. So if you hear little meows, that's what it is. Anyway, I went out thrifting today. I had the day off from work. Um, I had an appointment originally that I ended up canceling. Um, it was for a new tattoo, um, but it's not really something that I wanna spend money on right now with the instability of my full-time job. So I went thrifting instead. I figured that was a better use of my money at this point in time. And I actually met up with a local reseller friend, Daniela. Um, she invited me out to meet her at one of my local stores. And then we went to four stores in the matter of four hours. So roughly, you know, an hour in each store, um, a little bit less for, you know, travel time, but just about four hours. Um, and yeah, this is everything that I got. So I will put on the screen what my average cost of goods is because I at this point I don't know the total that I spent or the amount <laughs> of items that I got so right here will be the average cost of goods because I know a lot of you guys like to know that stuff anyway let's get started again four stores I got stuff in every store I'm just gonna move that one to the side for right now and we'll talk about this one okay so First, we have a Zara piece. I haven't taken price tags off of anything. Um, I, everything just, you know, it is what it is. If you see a price, if it's a savers tag, I usually uh, have a coupon for 20%. This first thing is from Zara. I don't often pick up Zara. This is like new without tags. It has a little barb here. Um, and this is a collab with Disney, if you can see that little Disney tag down here, the blue tag. And this has Dumbo on it. I already found the stock photo. I haven't looked at comps. I just thought this was too cute to pass up. And it says Dumbo on the back. I know Disney stuff usually does pretty well. Um, and sometimes uh, Zara pieces can be blogger favorites. So I figured I would try this out. Um, when I briefly looked it up, I did see one listed on Poshmark for 60. Obviously that's not a sold comp. So I don't know if that's, you know, the going rate, something that I could realistically um, try to get myself. So we'll see. Um, this is a pair of jeans. I am still looking for jeans because it's fall and that's probably my best seller right now. Um, this is a designer brand APC. It says new cure F underneath. I don't know what that means. These are a size 27. And these are like a mid rise jean, kind of a darker wash. They seem like they're more straight leg than skinny, but I honestly haven't looked up most of these things. I kind of just pick them off, pick them up based on style. Um, there are a few pieces in here that Daniela picked out for me. She's the best at that. If you ever go thrifting with her, um, she will find stuff that she knows that you like to sell and she will give it to you. So uh, she found these I and I picked them up. They are new with tags, Columbia PFG. Um, the price was pretty good. They were $8.49 and they're a size medium. And I believe these are women's. I Like I said, haven't done any research. Um, they are relaxed fit straight leg. PFG is, I believe, performance fishing gear. And it looks like these zip off into shorts as well. These need a little bit of love, a wash and a depill, but they were 3.99. 
I also see a little tiny hole in here, but um, honestly, it's not the biggest deal. This is a personal favorite brand. This is Spiritual Gangster, size small. And if I can't get them um, in good shape, maybe Liv will want them. Um, she will probably fit in these. I don't know what he's doing. I do apologize for the background noise. And one of these legs says, oh, it's this one. You can barely see it, it says Spiritual down at the side of the leg. This one I found, um, it was just laying on top of the rack of clothes, not on a hanger or anything. So someone obviously picked it up at one point and then decided against picking it up. I don't know why, because it seems to be in good shape. This is Everlane, size medium. I like picking up Everlane because it's a sustainable brand. And this is a black cardigan, cardigan. I can't speak. Um, it's a great classic. It's kind of a longer length, not quite a duster, but it is a longer length and it is button front. And then the sides do have these big, large slits in them. I did get a couple of free people pieces just because um, I like to have those in my closet. They're easy 18 to $25 sellers for me. Um, this is We The Free size medium. I got this because it was a whopping $2.49 and this is a turtleneck. There's the turtleneck and then the back has a split at the bottom. This is also Free People. Uh, it's also We The Free size small. It's the same tag as the other one. Um, and this is a nice crushed velvet one kind of like a pale pink color. I thought this would be really pretty for the upcoming holiday season. He's just, he's in his element right now. Um, he's kind of got the zoomies. This is just a personal pickup. I haven't tried it on um, and it's just from Gap. You guys know probably what the Gap tag looks like. Um, I really love this color for fall. This would have been perfect for that video um, that me and Liv did uh, recently. If you watched that, if you haven't, I will link it. But we tried to um, thrift our fall Pinterest outfits and I wasn't able to find anything that I wanted um, really for sweaters. I found that one black Primark one, but that would have been a good pickup. All right, these are also for me. These are just Target Wild Fable size medium. Um, and they are like a tie-dye jogger pant. Um, I work from home at my full-time job, so um, I like to wear comfortable pants. All right, these next items are from the first store that we went to. And um, I didn't pick up too much at the store, but I did pick up a couple things. This is Barber, Barbour. I always forget how to say this. And this is a size four in US. I have sold this, I think, once before. It's really hard to see because it's in like pink embroidery. Um, and this is a women's plaid flannel top. Um, I have sold a sweater and then I've also sold a bag, I believe, from them. Um, it does okay for me. I don't find it too often, so I like to pick it up when I do. This is a newer tag, Athleta piece, extra small. It's fairly recent, um, spring of 2020. It was also $3.99. And I will not pay more than $5 for an activewear tank top or really any tank top because sleeveless does not do the best. It also probably will have tiny little pinholes because this was a Salvation Army and they like to staple the clothes. Don't we just love that? This um, was a Daniela Fine, and she gave this to me. It's a women's extra small Eddie Bauer. And it's like a, a fleecy jacket. I'm gonna see if Liv wants this first, because I think this would look really cute on her. I don't know if she's into the whole jacket thing like I am, um, but she might want it. This brand I have sold a few times. It's been a, quite a while since I've found it. I don't think I've ever found a women's piece though. I think mostly I've found men's before. Um, this is Robert Graham. The louder his pieces are, the better. Um, it does have some embroidery up here. 
and then embroidery on the back as well so again I don't know what the women's pieces might go for because I'm used to selling the men's this is another Zara piece this one is a new with the tags um, and it's also a collab with the Simpsons um, like the Disney piece I like to pick up the collabs and this has I think this is Maggie Simpson um, and she is dressed as the Statue of Liberty with a teddy bear and um, an ice cream cone. So, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And I like the novelty prints. All right. And the next, well, last two from this store are Daniela Fines. Um, Liv might keep this. Uh, because if, like I said earlier, if you watched that video where we did the Pinterest outfits, she was looking for a black leather jacket for one of her outfits and this is one this is a size large so it might be that oversized fit that she's looking for if she doesn't want it i will just sell it it's from levi's and it's a black leather jacket it is sherpa line so it'd be nice and cozy warm um, for the fall season if you live in new england like we do and the other one is Eileen Fisher. This is silk and this is an extra large. I love my girl Eileen. This is gorgeous. It's like an ivory off-white color. Just a, I think it's not, is it button front? I'm a mess guys. Yes, hidden button front blouse. So love that, especially with silk fabric. All right, let's do this bag. So this was a store that I'd never been to before. It's uh, Daniela's Honey Hole, so I'm not gonna share the name of it. Um, but it was interesting. I got a yoga block for myself. I also got this little dude for myself. I don't know when he's from, who makes him. I don't know if he works even, but I don't know if it was $1.99. I love Halloween. I bought an 8-track tape for the first time. It seems sealed. I don't know if that's factory sealed. Um, it's Fiddler on the Roof. I looked it up on eBay in the store. Comps were around $13 to $15, and those were all pre-owned. So I don't know. It was $2.99, so I just kind of wanted to try it out. I like trying new categories to see how they do. Another Daniela find. Um, have I mentioned that she's awesome and we love her? Um, these are Athleta Brooklyn Textured Jogger. I have sold these before in the black color. This is a size 14. These are kind of like a tan with a subtle check um, on them. And they are, like I said, a jogger. More Athleta. This is from 2021, 2020, spring 2020. And this is a, oh, let me find the tag. This is a size medium. Here's this athleta tag. And this is just a very long hoodie sweatshirt. I love the big fat um, drawstrings. So yeah, long length, long line hoodie. As I mentioned before, I'm picking up lots of denim right now. These are orange tag Levi's. I believe these might be from the 90s. Um, if you guys know how to date Levi's, please let me know because uh, I haven't got a clue. These are the 950s um, made in the Dominican Republic, well, assembled in the Dominican Republic, size 13, medium. He's playing with the plastic bag. So, yep, tapered leg, orange tab Levi's. I don't know how much those are gonna go for. This was half off. Um, this is Champion Reverse Weave. If you can see that, it's hard to tell with the um, price tag. And this is a slightly cropped logo T. Champion Spella on the front, little logo here on the left sleeve. And, oh, I also got these tiny little crew cuts slippers. 
I don't know, they're adorable. Um, and they were like $4.99. The bottoms also look pretty good. I've never picked up crew cuts before, um, but yeah, the little pink velvet slippers, those are cute. All right, and the last thing I picked up from that store is a pair of denim. I think I recently showed you guys a pair of jeans from this brand. They were new with tags. I just listed them the other day. Um, Karmar is sold at a very expensive boutique called LF Boutique in Los Angeles. That's like the only place that you can find it besides on their website. And the little gremlin just jumped up here. And um, so it's very expensive. I don't think LF actually exists anymore. Um, but yeah, so I like to pick up their pieces, especially the Karmar denim. These are a size 23, so an itty bitty size, but I really like the patchwork here. I think someone just rolled them up um, and they are distressed. Here's the other leg. This one does have a, like a busted knee. I was gonna call him over here, but then he jumped off the couch, so. All right, last bag. This is actually a lot shorter of a haul than I expected it to be, so that's a plus. You guys seem to like the shorter ones. All right, these I think I might bring to my booth. These are Odagiri Japan. If you can kind of see that, it's on the sticker and it's also written under here, Odagiri. Um, and these are salt and pepper shakers with, I think these are some blueberries on them. Come here. This is a little gremlin. He's hard to see because he's black. Say hello. He doesn't want to say hello. I'm actually not sure if he's a boy or a girl. Um, it's been a few years since I've had a cat, not including the outdoor cat who kind of just does her own thing. Um, but two years ago, shortly after I moved here, um, I lost my cat of 13 years. He was all black um, and he had extra toes. He was polydactyl. Um, we had the window open in my bedroom because we were doing some renovations and he got out and I don't, I haven't seen him since. So that really broke my heart. I'm still sad about it every day. That's why I have this seven tattoo. That was his name, seven, because he had in total seven extra toes. And on one of his paws, it looked like he had thumbs. So that's why I got it on my thumb. But anyway, one of my old coworkers um, had a cat who was also black with thumbs and she had kittens. And so we drove, me and my daughter drove up there uh, on Sunday and picked him up for her. Um, and so we're going to the vet next week and so I'll have an answer and an official name after we see the vet but yeah he's such a love he's a little bit more long hair than my last cat um, but he's incredibly soft and super adorable but yeah so I'm excited I did share a picture of him when we took him home on my community tab on YouTube and so I'm really excited to be a cat mom again though I forgot how exhausting it is to have a kitten because it's basically like having a toddler who doesn't understand what the hell you're saying. Um, another Daniela find, where the heck is the tag? Okay, this is Prana size small. And this is like a open front waterfall kind of cardigan. Um, I like the print. It's kind of like a subtle animal print I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be or if it's more like Aztec, but I see it as animal print because I love animal print. I was trying to find the fabric tag, but I don't see it and I don't want to waste too much time on it. I got some Spanx fishnets. They were $2.99, size B, nude. Um, yeah, they do have the control top extended. Ow! Extended control top. Can you not do that? Um, so they look to be new, but the bottom kind of looks like it was opened and then resealed. So I don't know. I thought maybe Liv might like these for one of her little outfits. Stop going on the table. Okay. Um, this brand I've shared with you once before. I don't find it too often. These were $5.99, so that's part of the reason why I picked it up. This is what the logo looks like. It is called Women's Best. These are a very lime green, seamless 
legging, super stretchy, super high rise, and like some of the gym sharks, um, the tag is in the leg, and these are a size extra large, so a really great size. This brand I've only picked up a few times before. Um, they did have a few different ones. Can you stop? They did have a few different ones in this store, but this is the only one I picked up based on style. This is Clara Sun Woo, size small, and it's a black long sleeve. It's really hard to tell. I am not the best at this. You know, you'd think after like three or four years I'd get the hang of it, but still no. Um, but the sleeves are fully perforated, so I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool, so I picked that up. This I got just because Barbie core is a thing right now and it's branded by Barbie size small and it is a Barbie graphic tee long sleeve. Here's a close up of the image. I don't, I don't, I'm not expecting a lot for that but I picked it up anyways. More denim. Denim, denim, denim. These are Levi's 501s. I pretty much only pick up the 501s and the Mile High or the Rib Cage. I skip everything else except for those orange tabs that I showed you just because I never see the orange tab. These are a size 26 um, and they were $9.49. They do have the button fly, which I love, and they're always like a straight leg. These have some minor distressing and a raw hem. I usually get at least $40 for my 501s. Uh, I had to start and stop my video because it only records in like 22 minute intervals. Okay, these are Spanx leggings, size large. These are not a full length legging, it doesn't look like, so I don't know how these will do. Um, these kind of look more like a dress pant to me and they do have a little split down here at the bottom. So I'll have to look up the style and see what those will sell for. One more piece of clothing and then we have a couple shoes and a few hard goods that are personal buys and then we're done. Okay, so these are Good American. They still have the Nordstrom rack tag on them, which I didn't even know until right this very moment. Um, it says comparable va value $79. They were clearanced at Nordstrom rack for $17.99, which was 17% off. Whoa, well, um, I love picking up this brand. It's a size one slash two. Good American. They have the little um, thing right here so that they don't slide down on you. And these are a seamless legging. They might be slightly cropped, maybe a seven eighth length. I haven't looked them up. They do have the little V back here to kind of accentuate your bum. Okay, so these were an interesting find mostly because they were marked at $2.99 and so I was really surprised by that. I haven't found the size yet um, so I'll have to do a little bit more digging. Um, oh right here. Size 8 um, and they're from holiday of 2020. These are made well. They don't look like they were ever worn. Made with recycled materials. They are slippers as you can see this part is purple and then the inside is brown. Again, yeah, it doesn't look like anyone ever wore these, so yeah, um, the, it's not matted down here where the foot goes. There doesn't look like there's really anywhere on the bottom, so I was excited and surprised that those were only marked at $2.99. Okay, last a pair of shoes um, are these Adidas. These are Adi Preen. It says right here. Um, I think they're hideous, but Ugly things sell, and Adidas usually does pretty well for me. I don't know if these are men's or women's. Um, they're a size six, so I'm gonna assume that they are a women's. Um, so that might bring down the value uh, a little bit. Usually men's styles do a bit better for me, but um, yeah, I'm excited for these to see how they might do. I briefly looked up comps and I saw some that went for over $100, but they weren't that color and again if that's a size six in women's uh, that might be a little bit more difficult to sell and the last two things are hard goods and they're both for me I got this little tiny plastic jack-o-lantern I'm going to uh, do a DIY with this that's why I picked it up um, basically I'm just gonna pour cement in here and make it a little teeny tiny planter 
possibly to sell in my booth at a later date because you know we're like three days from Halloween as of right now <laughs> um, so I may have skipped the boat or missed the boat there and then this I got I love black cats we have already discussed this um, and this is just hide and eek from Target it was ten dollars at Target and Savers wanted $7.99 but I couldn't say no so we'll probably wash this up and then after Halloween we'll put some of Liv's candy in here from trick-or-treating and yeah there we go. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. Four different stores in about four hours time. So I'm happy with the things I got. Um, Daniela definitely had the find of the day. She found um, Maison Martin Margiela. Um, it was her first time finding that brand and it was only marked at $3.99 and it was wool and cashmere um, sweater cardigan. I forget which was. Um, so yeah, she definitely scored big. I was so, so excited for her, especially for it being her first time find. Um, but I'm definitely happy with everything that I picked up. These are all brands that I love to sell and do consistently sell um, because I try to pick up, you know, stuff that I personally like and brands that I know do pretty well for me. So designer is not my customer. So I was kind of excited, even though I was a little jealous, I was mostly excited um, for Daniela to find that because I know that she will do way better with it than I will. Um, these are the types of things that people shopping my closet are looking for. So anyway, again, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was from this haul. Let me know if you meet up with your local reseller friends and go thrifting. I love it. It's kind of like having a coworker and it's super fun. Um, cause usually it's just me or just me and Liv, but yeah. Thank you again for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet. I'm gonna go wrangle this tiny little gremlin um, and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.